Yeah, so earlier today, I think you all know, the first shipments of humanitarian assistance arrived on the shores of Gaza through the multinational humanitarian maritime corridor that the president announced during his State of the Union address. As we speak, additional aid from the United States and other countries is arriving in Cyprus, where it will be screened by Israeli authorities and loaded onto ships for delivery via the maritime corridor, the temporary pier that we've been talking about. And here you can see trucks just today. Uh, these the first truck includes pallets from, uh, from the UAE, as a matter of fact, uh, heading across that causeway, that temporary causeway, onto the beach. And once in Gaza, once on the beach, the aid will be distributed to those in need by the United Nations. The UN has now taken possession of these first, these first pallets um, and are getting them ready for distribution inside Gaza. So, look, I mean, hopefully by the time we're done here, I mean, some of that stuff will actually be in, in the mouths of some hungry people. Uh, I can announce today that uh, our National Security Advisor, Jake Sullivan, will travel to Saudi Arabia starting tomorrow. He'll be there to meet with Prime Minister and Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman to discuss bilateral and regional matters, including the war in Gaza, of course, and ongoing efforts to achieve a lasting peace and security in the region. On Sunday and the next day, uh, Mr. Sullivan will travel to Israel to meet with senior Israeli officials, including Prime Minister Netanyahu, to discuss, of course, the war in Gaza, including ongoing negotiations to secure the release of all the hostages, address the humanitarian crisis, and our shared objective for the enduring, de enduring defeat of Hamas through both military pressure and a political plan.